Hey everyone, happy new year. I hope this new year brings you success, good health, and smarter ways to use your Samsung Galaxy. In today's video, I'm showing you powerful Samsung features that many users don't know about. So this feature will help you free storage, save data, protect your eyes, customize your phone, and improve your performance. Make sure to watch till the end because every feature is useful. So feature number one is where you can skip the recycle bin when deleting files. So your phone storage is almost full, you delete a large video or a folder, but your storage space doesn't increase. And that's because the files are still sitting in the recycle bin. So by default, Samsung sends deleted files to recycle bin inside the My Files app. So while this recovers files, it also continues using storage. So you can disable the recycle bin so files delete permanently as soon as you remove them. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up My Files. And if I go ahead and open my downloads, so if I go ahead and try to delete something, so for example, this one here, we'll go ahead and select this, press delete. Now, as you can see, I get an option over here to permanently delete this. For those of you who haven't enabled this option, you won't get this option. It'll basically be deleted. However, it'll go into your recycle bin, which you can basically access from your My Files main page. And here you'll be able to access all the files that you have deleted. However, this is still taking up space on your phone. So let me show you how to skip the recycle bin when deleting the files. So for this, you wanna first go ahead and open up My Files app, go ahead and tap on the three dots, then tap on settings. Now next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and here you need to enable My File Labs. To enable this, you wanna go ahead and tap on About My Files, tap seven to eight times until you see an option saying My Files Lab has been enabled. Go back, go ahead and tap on My File Labs, Make sure it's switched on. And here you need to find this option called permanently delete option. So it will show you the permanently delete option in the delete dialog. So make sure to turn this feature on. Now, once that's done, go back. So now you wanna go ahead and try it out. Go ahead and tap on downloads, go to a file which you wanna delete. So for example, this one here, press delete. And then you'll get this option to permanently delete it or move it to the recycle bin. So if you wanna skip the recycle bin, select that, then press delete. So this way you instantly free storage. You don't need to empty the recycle bin manually. And this is best for large files and videos. Now the next feature is where you can change the app drawer from a vertical to a horizontal. So you're in a hurry and you're trying to open the app quickly like this going into your app drawer. You keep scrolling up and down, but the apps feel impossible to find. So Samsung's default vertical app drawer can feel endless. As you can see, it's quite a long list. Switching to horizontal pages and arranging apps in alphabetical order makes navigation faster and cleaner. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your app drawer, then tap on the three dots. Now you can go ahead and tap on sort and you can go ahead and choose custom order. Now in custom order, it's basically a custom order. It's not alphabetical order. However, it does switch over to the horizontal swipe view. But now let's say you want it in alphabetical order. You don't want it in custom order. So in order to do this, you wanna go ahead and first install the GoodLock app. So this is available in the Samsung store. Install that. Now in the GoodLock app, go ahead and, and open up the Home Up module. Make sure home screen is turned on, tap on it. And here you wanna go ahead and find Use Settings dialog on home screen. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now next, go ahead and tap on the app drawer, tap on the three dots, go ahead and change this to alphabetical order. Then tap on the three dots again, tap on home up. And now here you wanna go ahead and tap on use horizontal scroll. Make sure it's turned on. Now once that's done, press home. And now if you look at your app drawer, you'll see that it's now in horizontal scroll. However, it's in alphabetical order. So you can go ahead and find your apps easily. So it's faster app finding access. You have no endless scrolling. It's clean and an organized app drawer. Now the next feature is feature number three, where you can change the app icons on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So your phone works perfectly, but it looks boring and outdated. Every phone looks the same and you want something unique like this. So as you can see, I have unique icons. So Samsung allows full icon customization using Galaxy themes or GoodLock's theme park. So you can change the icon shape, colors, and style to match your personality. But let me show you where you can do one better, where you can basically get pre-made icons for your Samsung Galaxy device. As you can see, I've installed a pre-made icons for my Samsung Galaxy device, and they all fit all the icons. Uh, let me show you another icon pack, which I do regularly apply. And as you can see, this is a icon pack, which I have applied for my icons. 
and they basically give me a more of a unique look to my Samsung Galaxy device. So let me show you how you can do this on your phone. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your App Store. You want to go ahead and search for Icon Pack Studio. So this is the app you need. Open it. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find your Icon Pack. So go ahead and scroll through these icons and try to look out for the ones that don't have a pro tag on it. So as an example, I really like this one here. So I'll go ahead and choose this. I'll press download. Now this will go into my library. So to use this, I'll go ahead and tap on it, then tap on apply. Press OK, and then press OK again. So now just give it a few minutes and this will download to your phone. Press OK. Now we'll go ahead and install this. So we'll press download, tap on the downloaded one, to update it. Now we'll go ahead and allow it. Okay, now that's installed. So press home. Now you wanna go ahead and open up your GoodLock app. Now within the GoodLock app, open up the theme park module. Now here, tap on icons, tap on create new, then tap on icon, and then tap on the icon pack. And here you wanna go ahead and choose your exported icon pack, which is right here. Now just give it a few minutes. And then go ahead and press save, give it a name. And then go ahead and find it and apply it. Now press hope and your icon packs have been all been applied to your icons. So you get a personalized phone design. It's a fresh new look for the new year. It makes your phone feel brand new. Now the next feature is, feature number four is where you can turn on the red screen mode. So you use your phone late at night in the dark room. So the bright screen really hurts your eyes and affects your sleep. So with the red screen mode, this basically reduces blue light by applying a red color filter. So this makes nighttime usage easier on your eyes and helps maintain better sleep patterns. So let me show you how you can turn on the red screen mode on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you wanna go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find accessibility. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on vision enhancements. And here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find color filter. Tap on this and go ahead and turn this color filter on. So once that is turned on, as you can see, red color has already been chosen. So I'll just go ahead and switch it off. We'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll find the color we need. So as you can see, you have different colors. You can apply blue, azure, cyan, spring green, green, yellow, orange, and red, rose, magenta, and violet. So go ahead and apply the red one. And here you can go ahead and choose opacity. So I'll go ahead and choose 50% right now or 30%. And then go ahead and turn this feature on. We'll turn off the icon for shield mode. So now, as you can see, this is the opacity, which you can apply. If you want less, if you want more, go ahead and choose whatever you like. Now, the great part is you don't need to always come to this menu. You can go ahead and turn on this color filter shortcut, which will basically allow you to choose this icon here. It's a man icon here, which will allow you to turn off and turn on the red color filter. So I put it on 60%. That's a red color filter. If I go ahead and switch it off, this will turn it off. This will turn it back on. So this reduces your eye strain, is better night viewing, and it helps protect your sleep quality. Now feature number five is where you can allow unknown sources to install apps. So you download an app from the internet, like the DJI apps, but your phone blocks installation. So as you know, the DJI apps are not on the Play Store, and you should go ahead and download them from the website itself. So Samsung blocks unknown sources by default for security. You can manually allow trusted browsers or file managers to install apps when needed. So let me show you how you can do this. So as an example, I'll go ahead and open up internet and I'll go ahead and download an app. Let's say DJI Ronin. So we'll download this app. Now this is a app from an unknown source, so I won't be able to install this. So as you can see, if I go ahead and try to install this app by locating it from my files, It'll basically say for security reason, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. So I need to go ahead and change the settings in the settings itself. So, so in order to, so in order to allow this, I need to go ahead and open up settings. Next, I'll go ahead and scroll all the way down and find apps. Now I'll tap on the three dots and tap on special access. 
Now from here, I'll go ahead and find install unknown apps. Tap on this. And now here you want to go ahead and allow the apps to let you install unknown apps from an unknown source. So I'll go ahead and allow Chrome. I'll go ahead and allow Drive. I'll go ahead and allow my files to do that. And I'll go ahead and allow Samsung Internet as well. And now once that's done, press home, go back to your my files, and then tap on the APK again, and then press install. As you can see, this lets you install it as normal. So that's been installed for you. Now, for some of you, you might have issues where you won't be able to install even though you have allowed unknown sources. So to resolve this, you need to go ahead and open up settings, go into security and privacy. And here you need to go ahead and turn off auto blocker. So this keeps your phone safe by blocking threats or other suspicious activity. So this is like a built-in security for your Samsung device. And this basically blocks any apps from unauthorized sources as well. So make sure that is turned off and then you wanna go ahead and try this again. So this way you can install apps outside the Play Store. You have more control over device and this is useful for APK files and beta apps. Now feature number six is where you can turn off and on mobile data when opening apps. So your mobile data finishes quickly even though you barely used your phone. Well, some apps use mobile data in the background and Samsung lets you control mobile data access per app, preventing unwanted data usage. So say for example, you have turned off mobile data as it's using a lot of data here. So you can go ahead and only turn on data when you open an app. Now, of course, if you open up TikTok, you can go ahead and bring down your quick panel menu and then go ahead and turn it on and then go ahead and start using your TikTok app. But instead of doing that, you can go ahead and automatically let Samsung do that for you. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up the modes and routine app, search for modes and routine. Now we'll go ahead and tap on routine, then tap on the plus sign. And here we'll go ahead and configure the if and then statement. So if app is opened, we'll find TikTok. Now you can go ahead and choose different apps. So you can have like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. So I'll go ahead and add all of these apps together. So I've added three apps, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So now if Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube opens, then I want mobile data to turn on. Turn on, done. Press save, done, and home. Now I'll go ahead and just turn off Wi-Fi to demonstrate this. So as you can see, we have no mobile data on. Now we'll go ahead and turn on TikTok. And once we turn on TikTok, you'll see that mobile data has been switched on. We'll quit this, and this basically turns off your mobile data. Let's go ahead and try this for Instagram. Again, mobile data has been turned on. Let's do this for YouTube. And again, mobile data has been turned on. So whenever I quit these apps, mobile data will switch off. So Samsung lets you control mobile data access per app, preventing unwanted data usage. So this basically saves your mobile data if you're on a restricted plan, it reduces background usage, and this basically improves your battery life on your phone. Now lastly, feature number seven is where you can clear cache after a system update. So after a software update, your phone feels slow or apps crashes. So system update leaves behind temporary cache files, Clearing the cache partition removes these files without deleting the personal files. So let me show you how you can do this. So in order to clear the cache after a system update, you need to go ahead and enter the recovery mode for your Samsung Galaxy device. So in order to do this, you wanna go ahead and take a USB wire. So you can see this is a USB-C. So one end should be connected to your phone here, and the other end should be connected to a PC or a laptop. So make sure it's both are connected to each other. Now I'll go ahead and show this to you. So now as you can see, this is connected. So now you wanna go ahead and restart. Press restart. Now while it's restarting, go ahead and hold the volume up and the power button together. Keep holding it until you see the Samsung logo. Once you see the Samsung logo, release the side button. So I'll release that button here. Keep holding the volume up button. And once you do this, you'll enter the recovery mode. 
So now once you're here, you want to go ahead and browse through this menu and you want to go ahead and find wipe cache partition. Go ahead and press the power button to accept that. Press yes. And now that cache partition has been wiped. So now go ahead and choose reboot system here and then go ahead and restart the device. Now you can go ahead and unplug the device. So as you can see, after you do this step, you can have faster phone performance, you fix any lags or any app crashes, and there's no data loss as well in this. And that's it for today's Samsung Galaxy Tips videos. If this video helped you out, please like this video. It helps YouTube share it out to all the Samsung users. Comment which feature you like the most. Subscribe for more Samsung tips and hidden features. So the more like, the more comments, and more subscription I get, the more YouTube pushes this video out to others who need it. Once again, thank you for supporting me throughout these years. Happy New Year to you and your family, and I'll see you in the next video.